Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Transportation. Last week, the Minister of Transportation visited my riding of Chatham-Kent Leamington to celebrate a huge milestone in public transportation, one that will make life easier for people going between Leamington or Kingsville and Pelee Island. A ferry is not just another form of transportation. Speaker, it's a link between communities, and the ferry plays a significant role in the daily lives of my constituents. Many attendees at the announcement last week were there because for many of them, ferries are an integral part of their life. Whether it's local business owners or farmers transporting goods to and from the island or relying on the ferry to get to work, ferries play a big role Question. in the economy in everyday life. So, Speaker, my question to the minister is simply this. Could the minister share with the legislature the wonderful news that he delivered to my riding last week? Thank you. Minister of Transportation. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and thank the member from Chatham Kent uh, Essex for that uh, question. And it truly was a, a wonderful day uh, just the other week uh, with the member and also former uh, mayor of Healy Island, Rick Mass. It was a great celebration. It was a, a, a cloudy day, but a warm crowd, Mr. Speaker. He was celebrating the fact that uh, the Pelee Islander II is now in service. And in fact, uh, April 6 at 8 a.m., it, it went into service. And, and that Pelee Islander II will be able to be part of the transportation of over 50,000 people that travel to Pelee Island every year. And these ferries are there for their safety and to make sure they get there on time. In fact, this Pelee Islander II will be faster than the former ferry that was there and also carry more passengers and more cars. Mr. Spons. Speaker, this new ferry is going to benefit local economy of bringing more tourists to Healy Island and make it easier for businesses to move their goods. Mr. Speaker, this is just another one of the important services our government supports. Thank you very much. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. You know, we did have a great day uh, last week down in uh, Leamington ensuring that the beautiful Pelee Islander too uh, getting ready for its first launch. So again, thank you, Minister, for your response. You know, I know that the residents of Chatham-Kent, Leamington, and myself were thrilled with this announcement. Replacing the original Pelee Islander, which is nearly 60 years old, will provide more modern and reliable service. In everything our government does, every program, every policy, and every service change, we put people first. We value the experience of Ontarians. Our government is providing relief to the people of Pelee Island and Essex County Question. by reducing wait times with a new larger ferry. Can the minister please share more important details about the Pelee Islander too? Minister. Thanks again, Mr. Speaker, for that question. And since its arrival in Ontario, the ship's crew have worked diligently to complete extensive training and ensure that the new ferry met all the necessary safety requirements, Mr. Speaker. The Pelee Island II, as I mentioned earlier, is significantly larger. It will carry 400 people and up to 34 cars. The larger vessel is going to help improve the local economy, improve tourism, and improve recreation for everyone, not only in this whole area. I invite all Ontarians to take a trip to Pelee Island this summer to help support the local economy. Mr. Speaker, this is just another way that we're supporting local economy and especially the tourism. Mr. Speaker, this is, a go this is a government going forward, whether it's by boat, by car, by bike, by air, or by subway, Mr. Speaker, we're going to invest in Ontario. We're going to get this province moving. We're going to make Ontario a place to stand and a place to grow, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.